Welcome back. Today is uh, E-Lecture 4 and there are five parts. So this is part one of E of the five parts. Huh? To begin with, let me just draw a rectangle. Over here. So I have a rectangle. Now, if I were to draw a center line over it, which identify a long dash and a short dash, uh, then I will have converted a rectangle into what we call a shaft. So this is where I'm going to introduce you the features of the shaft. Uh. So let me just extend this part of the shaft. At the same time, I need to extend the center line. Now, I will introduce you the terms. Huh? This is called a chamfer. This is the shoulder for the shower. And when we were to cut the shoulder there, they are bound to have a radius here. This radius is called fillet. Now, what's the purpose of the shoulder? The key purpose of the shoulder is for something to sit on it and lean against it. So let me put in the part that lean against it. I draw a square and across across it. This is a symbol for a bearing. Now you notice that when I push the bearing onto the shaft, hoping it sit on the shoulder, but it did not. Lah. There is a gap here, so it is actually not properly seated. So when we want to sit something to the show to the shoulder, we need to have a small step here. Then we have the sharp diameter. I'm going to stand the center line. The one that just introduced uh, has a name. It is called the undercut. And the purpose of undercut is for the bearing to sit properly. Yeah? So now let me draw the bearing now. And that brings me to the end of all the shoulder, the shoulder, all the features of the shaft. Uh. The shaft is round with the center line. You have a chamfer, and there's a shoulder, this undercut, and a fillet. Next is uh, I want to talk about the bending moment. Uh. I would like to draw a center line first to represent the shaft. Uh. Move the center line, I'm going to draw the shaft now. This represents a shaft. And the shaft has, assume the shaft has to take a load in the center. We put the load here as W. And the shaft is supported by two bearings at the ends. So the W is coming down, so the supported load will be W over 2. Similar to this side, yeah? W over 2. Now I want to find out what is the bending moment, maximum bending moment along this shaft. 
the method is like this. Um, for the bending moment diagram, what we do is first we will have to draw this line down. Straight line down and a straight line down. Similarly for the point where force are, we draw the straight line down. Then we put in a line. Where this represents zero. Now at the end, the band, the 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 moment is always zero. So we because it is open end, so the ends are zero. So the maximum bending moment will occur right in the middle. And for me to know that, I need to introduce the length of the shaft. One more term, which I forgot earlier. The length of the shaft is L. So the bending moment will be equal to force times the perpendicular distance. And the force is at the end is W over 2 times the distance of the L over 2. How did I get L over 2? La? I will have to Assume that I cover this whole shaft. Now you realize there's a force coming up. WL over 2 times the perpendicular distance. This is a distance. Let's say if I put over here, the distance is 0. So therefore, W over 2 times 0 is still 0. So we got 0 here. So we move all the way to here. At this position, I will have WL over 2 multiplied by L over 2. That's where I got this. And that is the maximum bending moment. So Therefore, I will have WL over 4. And let's put the force here, WL over 4. And we will join here. That's a, bend, that's a maximum bending moment. Huh? Let me shade it. Now, when the shaft is being bent, huh? when the shaft is being bent, you will appreciate that let's say I bend the shaft a little bit here you will realize on top is under compression huh? and beneath it this point you will be under tension So if you draw into an element, a tension will be like that. We draw an element and say it's being pulled. That's tension. If it's compression, we will draw an element and say compress. So this is tension. And compression. And this element is actually just onto the surface here. surface here. Okay, that brings me to the end of part one for E lecture four. Lah.